Hello, hi. I'm going to talk about what is economic physics. Economic physics is a combination of economics and physics, and it has a lot of uh, applications in the field of finance, in quantitative finance in particular. And uh, this field was developed somewhere in 90s, 90s. Um, although physicists, uh, many physicists have contributed to economics in the past. For example, uh, you know, one good example is uh, Jennifer Newman. Um, one Newman, right? He was a pioneer mathematician, one of the greatest mathematician uh, we have seen in uh, on the planet. He was also a physicist, a theoretical physicist, and he has contributed a lot to economics and finance. So this is not new. Uh, even Bernoulli, in the past, uh, in, yeah, also has contributed a lot to economics. But there was this field created in the nineties. Uh, formally to you know have an academic discipline called economic physics that means using the principles of physics or the techniques in physics to solve problems in economics and finance right and and mainly the statistical physics statistical physics is uh, a type of physics which is uh, used to study the behavior of different uh, uh, you know different particles Right, electron, proton, neutron, all these particles, uh, using statistical techniques. Right, uh, for instance, um, studying the behavior of the path or, or the movement of uh, you know these micro particles. Right, um, and so so physicists thought that okay maybe the same techniques can be used to study the behavior of movement of different financial financial or economic um, activities right for instance movement of stock prices right whether uh, physics principles can be used to study the you know movement of stock prices all right so the you know the underlining idea was that uh, to use uh, physics techniques techniques used uh, mathematical uh, technique used in physics to study economic behavior and um, yeah, it was both, both of a mix of theoretical models, but also uh, database uh, database models, right? Stati statistical models, right? And some uses uh, are like movement in prices of the financial instruments. I will talk it, talked about it, uh, which is about you know using uh, you know one very good example is that using the Brownian motion techniques, um, you know stochastic methods to price financial instruments right uh, price uh, options or future or forwards uh, right these financial instruments um, one famous model is black skull model and uh, that model uses a lot of techniques from physics so if you have studied quant uh, quantity finance i'm sure you are, you are aware of that that a lot of financial a lot of physics techniques uh, were used for this for that uh, particular model and the, the 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 ones who actually wrote that paper actually got the Nobel prize in economics also right um, it's also used in modeling uh, systemic risk uh, and and to model low probability uh, economic and financial events right um, so this field uh, was uh, yeah informally started after Second World War when many physicists didn't have much work to do because there were so many physicists out there and academic jobs were not many. And after Second World War, uh, even uh, government organizations stopped hiring physicists. Before Second World War or during Second World War, there was a huge demand of physicists. But after that, it dried down. Uh, and that's when many physicists moved to other fields and one important field was uh, finance. Many people moved to finance and they were hired by banks and insurance company to build uh, you know, models in, in finance using the techniques uh, in physics. Um, especially in the 80s, many uh, physicists, uh, theoretical physicists moved to, to banks and hedge funds. And, and you know quantitative finance was formally created but many physicists also started working uh, in other fields like policy making working in the government so the economic physics is very broad compared to that of quantitative finance 
and as i've said it's not new you know uh, the famous uh, utility function was was actually uh, proposed by bernoulli who was, was a great mathematician and a physicist so many physicists have contributed uh, to uh, to economics and finance utility uh, function as as i've said by bernoulli but also louis bachelard who was a mathematician she contributed a lot um even more recently uh, john nas right you know he he is a mathematician he is also he has also contributed to theoretical physics but uh, he received nobel prize in economics for his work on variety of things and in you know in game theory he is uh, is quite popular he has contributed a lot to game theory and game theory is heavily used in, in economics right uh, von neumann as i said was was a great physicist and mathematician and he has contributed a lot to physics and uh, to economics and finance <clears throat> some of the real world applications you know you will see real world applications uh, in understanding market dynamics right varieties of markets you have like not just the stock market but also uh, you know uh, more complex in financial instruments such as uh, options and future forward um right swaps in order to understand uh, the different movements of these instruments in the financial market um physics techniques were used and that still is used actually many banks still use uh, these techniques to price you know to price different financial instrument to model to 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 forecast financial uh, the behavior of financial instrument in the future uh risk management in risk management also these things are used for example pricing of uh, derivative right in banks this is also used algorithm trading right in fact the algorithm trading was actually started by physicist in the 90s uh, a lot of physicist emmanuel dorman is one one uh, known physicist who actually pioneered algorithm trading um one of the f- very first few quants you know coming from physics background and he struck the trend many physicists actually then moved to uh to this field uh after he succeeded and and many other fix of his of his time succeeded a lot of them were working in bell lab and then moved to goldman sachs and other big companies uh, big banks in wall street and they, they they succeeded there and that's when a lot of other mathematicians and physicists also followed them um <clears throat> yeah so the the techniques used are primarily the stochastic calculus which is mathematics but again you have quite heavily used in statistical physics n- nonlinear modeling and and you know the statistical physics part is uh, you know a mix of statistics and um, you know the the mathematical physics uh, and uh, you know both both are have heavily used now in finance uh, in the form of quantitative finance but it has a broader use in econo physics it has a broader use uh, but in quantitative finance <coughs> in 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 uh, quantitative finance nowadays machine learning is also quite heavily used so you know so the trend is changing a bit from pure theory to more data based uh, data based uh, modeling uh, it has a lot of overlap with quantitative finance no doubt about it uh quantity finance is getting more attention uh, compared to that of econ- uh, physics but this still feels exists like a lot of people do write papers about it it's broad because it's not related to only finance it also related to policy making and 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 so on and so forth um other areas like healthcare economics and and welfare economics right these areas it's very mo- is more academic compared to quantity finance uh, quantity finance is very ap- applied oriented both are data intensive quantitative finance is more data intensive and quantitative finance is the more is leaning more towards the machine learning than physics you know in 80s and 90s physics models used to be used in quantitative finance slowly people are moving from physics to machine learning okay and interestingly uh, a lot of indian mathematicians and stat- physicists also contributed to economic physics when this field was developed and if i'm not wrong this uh, the first ever econo physics conference was organized in india in indian statistical institute in calcutta uh, i've heard about it i didn't quite find whether that is true 
but I know a lot of mathematicians from ISI, Indian Statistical Institute in Calcutta, they actually have contributed to economic physics. So I'm not surprised if this con the first F conference was actually held in that university. All right. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for uh, watching this.